In this video, we go hands-on with the LiftMaster MyQ Homebridge, which allows you to open your garage door using HomeKit. Thanks for watching 9to5Mac. Be sure to thumbs up, click the subscribe button, and then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any upcoming videos. How's it going everybody? This is Jeff Benjamin with 9to5Mac. This is the LiftMaster MyQ Homebridge. It is a add-on product for your existing Wi-Fi enabled garage door opener. And that could be either a Chamberlain garage door opener, a LiftMaster branded one, um, Craftsman. There's several that fall under the Chamberlain umbrella. This is one of them. Now, before you get started, your garage door opener does have to have a Wi-Fi connection already. And that can be a built-in Wi-Fi connection, or that can be a Wi-Fi connection gained via an add-on like the MyQ Smart Garage Hub. And it's a little confusing, a little ambiguous. I'll have more details in the written post on 9to5Mac. But as long as you have a compatible Wi-Fi enabled opener, you can enable HomeKit support by connecting the MyQ home bridge to your network. All right, so we have it here. You can see how it looks. It is basically a little bit bigger, a little bit wider than an Apple TV. Uh, sort of the same form factor though, the overall general form factor. As you can see, it comes with a mounting bracket for mounting near your garage door opener. And this does not need to be connected to your router or anything like that. It simply interfaces wirelessly between your garage door opener and HomeKit, basically a liaison between the two. And that's gonna give you home app support and Siri support. All right, so I have the little bracket here mounted right next to my garage door opener. This is an opener that has built-in Wi-Fi, by the way. So it's gonna work out of the box with the MyQ home bridge. You can see it's mounted there. Now, you don't need the MyQ home bridge to use the MyQ app to control the garage door opener. It works natively with this garage door opener, but the downside is that it's not compatible with HomeKit natively. You need that MyQ home bridge to enable HomeKit support. So that's what we're doing right now. That's the point of the home bridge. So we're just gonna add it here, right within the MyQ app. It's gonna pop up under the discovered devices as you can see there. Obviously you need your MyQ home bridge plugged in within Wi-Fi range close to your garage door opener. So we scan the HomeKit setup code, tap the bridge there. And it's adding it just like that. All right, so it's gonna say additional setup required. You just tap done here, and it's gonna ask you to give the home bridge a name. We can just keep it default. This is the name that will show up within HomeKit. Tap garage door opener, tap next, and then you wanna tap or press the learn button on the garage door opener itself. So you wanna pull down this little guy right here, and then you wanna press the learn button which is this little circular button right here. So just press that. All right, and then you see success. It recognized it. So now we're gonna give it a name. I'm just gonna say overhead door and then choose a room for the device within your home domain. So here I'm gonna choose garage, of course, and then we're gonna tap next. And that's it. It was, a, it was kind of a difficult process for me to figure all this out, but once I got the workflow down, it was fairly easy to get going. So now you can see within the home app, the garage door opener right there, it shows close status. So now we can just press on that little tile and that will open our garage door. Just tap it like that. And notice in the background, you see the garage door opening just like that. Super cool. So now we don't have to rely on that MyQ app. Now we can control the garage door opener using the home app or using Siri or using automation within the home app. It's all up to you. Just gonna press that again. Now here's the downside with these particular openers. You hear that beeping sound? You see that light? Whenever you close the door using HomeKit or using the app, you get that because it, it, I guess it's like a safety feature that LiftMaster incorporates. It's just very, very annoying. Uh, but that's just something to keep in mind. If you're not using your traditional clicker, you're subjected to that nonsense. All right, so here is an example of using Siri. You just say open overhead door and it opens it up like that. And you can also do the same thing via your Apple Watch as well. So ladies and gentlemen, that is a look at the MyQ Homebridge. If you have a Wi-Fi enabled opener like this one right here, or even if you don't, 
Just add the MyQ Smart Garage Hub to a compatible existing opener along with the MyQ Home Bridge and now you have yourself a Siri enabled, HomeKit enabled garage door opener. Ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments section. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.